Welcome to Grandma Dante's Kitchen. Happy 4th of July to you. I'm going to make something very special and it's very good for holidays and for company. It's my famous Mississippi fried chicken and macaroni and cheese, okay? It's a winner at, at any occasion, all right? So when I use more than three seasonings, I mix them up instead of putting each, I mix them and put it in one container and then I marinate the, the meat, meat with it. I'm, I'm even marinating my meat, okay? So I have this chicken cut up and it's thighs and legs and thighs, but you can do it for the whole chicken or, 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 or chicken wings. It's good, okay? So, but when you, when you use more than three seasonings, you can, and for fried chicken, you can use many uh, seasonings as you like because you know Kentucky Fried Chicken uses about 16 seasonings for their chicken. So you can't go wrong, okay? All right? Grandma dies with celery salt, okay? And this is a herb seasoning, five herbs in this one. And then I got, I use, I put um, Tony Saffron, I like Tony Saffron, ground red pepper. So don't put too much of it in it because see, the paprika is, is, has a little kick to it too. So you, you know, if you don't want too much kick, don't put, just, just a, 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 you know, enough to wake up the palate, you know, enough to, enough to just satisfy your palate, okay? All right. So what I did was, see, I put all of them in here and then I, um, I season it. And always let your meat season. You remember I'm a stickle for seasoning my meat, okay? So I believe in seasoning my meat, you know, and let it set for at least two hours, okay? And most of the time I let it set overnight, okay? So now in Mississippi, what we used to do is we used to put it uh, in a bag, a brown brown paper bag. But now they don't have brown paper bags. So what, what I did was I seasoned my meat and then uh, I'm going to put the flour in a bag, okay? All right. So I got a Ziploc bag because in Mississippi we, we didn't have Ziploc bags. 70 years ago, 65 years ago, I'm 79 years old. So, you know, they didn't have modern stuff that they have like they have now. So, okay. So, and what I do is, all right, because I have my seasoning already made and, and this is marinade, so I put, I put about a tablespoon full in the, in the, in this, in the, um, flour. Okay. All right. And let's just shake it up. All right. And so we're going to put our, and I got my pot heating, the oil is heating. You can use whatever kind of oil you like. All right, so what we're gonna do is zip this up. This is very convenient. You zip this up, and then we're gonna shake it up. Shake it up. Look, shake it up. And I got my oil heating. You want your oil hot. So come on, let's go over to the stove. See, my oil is hot, so when your oil get hot, at the end, you stick, you, you you drop a stick of butter in it. The butter is gonna help make that crispy crust. All right. So you you drop a stick of butter in. I'm not going to. So we're going to let it when this butter melt, it'll be hot. And so what we want to do is uh, we're gonna put the chicken in. We won't don't fill the pot up too too hot full you know and then remember the key to making good fried chicken is you're going to put a lid on it you, you, you lock all the flavor in when you put the lid on it don't cook it without the lid put the lid on it and the lid is going to contain all of the juicy flavors and we're going to cook it about 15 minutes on each side now you see while our chicken is cooking i put the first batch in Remember, you're gonna cook it at least 15 minutes on each side before you turn it over, okay? Now, we can start on now the, the mac and cheese. 
So I use elbow macaroni. I like the, the big, uh, not the uh, small ones. I always get the big, large elbow macaroni. It doesn't matter what brand, but as long as it's a large elbow macaroni. So you want that gooey flavor of the cheese to go through. And, and, and so that's what makes it very good. So what we're gonna do now, you, you're gonna need your cheese, always three cheese at least. This is a cheddar cheese. This right here is the pepper jack cheese. I use pepper jack now because I like I like it. It, it, it kicks it up a notch. It's got a good flavor to it. That's pepper jack cheese. And this is mozzarella cheese. These are my favorite three cheeses that I like to use with macaroni and cheese, okay? And I grate my cheese. I don't buy it already grated. If I'm making, if I'm making tacos, I buy the already grated cheese. But if I'm making um, mac and cheese, I like to grate my own cheese because it's be it melts better, okay? All right? And, and for this, it's, it's enough for four in the family. And you're going to need, need at least four eggs. You're gonna need salt and pepper to the taste. And you're gonna need uh, a stick. A stick of butter, sugar. Now you don't. You can you can delete the sugar because a lot of people don't want sugar in theirs. So this it's fine. It's good without sugar. But this is Grandma Dorothy's recipe, and I got 42 grandkids. I I got I just had uh, two. Uh, my uh, my youngest grandson is uh, what uh, six weeks old. <laughs> six weeks old in Texas. I got two new grand new grandkids. It was born to my daughter in Texas. So I got 42 grandkids now. And my grandkids love the way I make it with the sugar. So, but you can leave the sugar off if you want to, all right? But that's where, that's where Grandma Dorothy, that's Grandma Dorothy's recipe, remember? <laughs> and it's very delicious. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna cook first the, uh, the, the, the noodles, and we're gonna go by the, the um, direction on the box. And then I'll be back and show you how we're going to put it together. Remember, welcome back. Remember when you are taking your chicken out, always put it on a towel. Because you want, you, you want the grease to absorb in the towel. Always drain it. You're going to drain it first. All right? By putting it on a, a paper towel. Okay, here's my thermometer, right? So don't hit the bone. So you see? It's done. 160. Smell it, smell it, smell it. <laughs> Look at that. Delicious. Okay, all right. So we're going to put another batch in. See, it's done. It's very fast. You just do. You just follow the direction on the box. Any box that they have, they have the directions on. Okay. So, what we're gonna do? We're going to. It's hot, so we don't want to put the eggs in first. We put the we we put the um cheeses. And don't be skipping on your cheese. Don't be skipping on your eggs. But you're gonna put the eggs in last because you don't want it to cook. If you want, if you're in a hurry, you want to do it quick. Uh, run some cold water over them after after you take after they uh, you, you take them out of the water.
Now because we put a, a lot of eggs in, we, so the key to good macaroni and cheese is don't be skimpy on the eggs. So since we're putting a lot of eggs in it, we don't need milk. So we're gonna put a teaspoon of salt. It's two. Okay. I have a sugar in it. You're gonna put the eggs in last if it's hot. If, if, if you haven't let it cool off. Sometimes I let it cool off and then it's, it's cool enough. But this I didn't. Now we're going to spray our pan with nonstick spray. Easy cleanup pan. Okay. Let's stir it up. See, that's why you don't need milk. See? See, some people put milk in, but you don't need milk because your eggs. Don't be skipping on your eggs. How easy was that? Wasn't that fast and easy? Okay. So we're gonna put half of it in our bowl. Our baking dish. Okay. What kind of cheese you like to put in the middle? Put it in. Okay, let's put the cheese on top now. The rest of the cheese we're gonna put on top. And I got my oven at 350, okay? So we're gonna cook it about 30 minutes. All right, and I'll be back. Now I'm going to do my taste test, you know, that's what I love to do best. So let's have a taste test, okay? This is the mac and cheese. See, look, look at the gooeyness. Look, look at that, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Mixed vegetables. All right, Father, thank you for this food we're about to, are we going to eat? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Delicious. You see, you can cook this up an hour. You see, that didn't take long. It's fast. Let's try the chicken. Delicious. The season is very good. Remember, I marinate my chicken.
Very good. Very good. Remember, I have a, a cookbook. Uh, this is Mississippi Soul Food. All right? If you buy one, I will autograph it and send it back to you by return mail. And buy some for your friends. I'll, you can give me their names and I will autograph it for them also. Okay, all right? Don't forget, I have seasoning, my seasonings. And you go to Grandma Dorothy's Kitchen. That's, 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 that's our website. Our, the website for uh, Grandma Dorothy's Kitchen is Grandma Dorothy's Kitchen. And you just, dot com. You can purchase whatever that we have on there. All right? Tell your friends. Tell your co-workers, tell your neighbors to subscribe to Grandma Dot's Kitchen. Tell them to subscribe, and you know to subscribe is free. It don't cost anything. So subscribe to my channel, all right? Okay? Just keep your notification bell on. Don't turn it off. So that when I put up a new video, you'll get a notification. All right? And remember, don't forget now, in two more weeks, I'll be giving, choosing the winners for the, for the, for the book. And you, you got to go to uh, Dorothy's Kitchen. The Instagram is Dorothy's Kitchen. So you got to go to Dorothy's Kitchen to, 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 to uh, enter into the giveaway. So who knows? You might get chosen. All right? And in two weeks from now, the next cooking video will announce the winners. All right? Our word for today is destiny is not left to chance. Like a lot of us believe, but it's not. But it's a matter of choice. You choose. You have to choose. Okay? All right? That's our thought for today. And it's a message for the day. So remember that. Okay? Happy eating to you.